everyone knows the name Alexander Fleming. But do you know who was key to mass producing his life-saving discovery? It all began with mold. In 1928, Alexander Fleming went back to his lab in St. Mary's Hospital, only to find his bacteria samples contaminated with mold. But the disaster hit a brilliant secret. Fleming noticed that the mold had a halo around it, keeping the bacteria away. This was the world's first antibiotic, penicillin. It was named after the mold that produced it, Penicillium notatum. There was just one problem. The mold didn't make enough penicillin. 10 years later, World War II was growing in the horizon. Everyone was desperate to mass produce something that could save thousands of lives. Six women called the Penicillin Girls were put in charge of cultivating the bacteria in the University of Oxford. But even when growing the bacteria on vast amounts of nutrient-rich liquid, they only produced tiny amounts of antibiotic. When the Nazis started bombing London, the experiments were moved to the US, specifically Peoria, Illinois. They needed more productive strains of the penicillium mold, so they began to hunt. Spoiled bread, spoiled cheese, old meat. But it was one person who found the most productive penicillium strain on a piece of moldy cantaloupe. Her identity was lost to time, and now we only know her as Moldy Mary. But her simple gift had world-shattering consequences. The cantaloupe's mold produced six times the amount Fleming's did. In 1945, Alexander Fleming, Howard Florey, and Ernst Chain received the Nobel Prize for their contributions to penicillin research. But the names and contributions of the women were not adequately tracked and credited. So here's to Moldy Mary, who saved millions of lives with just one moldy cantaloupe. What do you think? What other crazy scientific surprises do you know of?